Hello. Hello, hello. We're back, and I know I need to get a stand for this, but I don't have a stand for this, so we're going to move on right now. Yeah, a few games have passed since. I didn't get a chance to talk about the Denver Nuggets sweeping the Los Angeles Lakers. And obviously, game uh, four took place in the Heat Celtics game, which the Celtics obviously won because they're not sweeped right now. And today, this evening, is the game five of the Celtics versus the Heat. So I just wanted to talk really, especially about this narrative. I saw him talk about it a lot on the first take, and I saw it on uh, Gilbert Arenas talking about it on uh, on JJ Vedic's podcast. The old man and the three. You know, Jokic can win his championship. No one's going to care. Let's just be honest. I'm sorry. He's not going to go from where he is right now to this super mega star because he's not doing anything kids want to see. Uh, and I vehemently disagree with the notion that uh, the NBA has to make a choice to do with uh, this creating more superstars because we're running we're leaving the era of uh, Stephen Curry and LeBron James and the big markets haven't got a team so anyways let's start that discussion so if you reach a stage personally in my opinion where your league is predicated upon superstars and only superstars then you've gone wrong somewhere because the sport of basketball is so much more as we said before, Nikola Jokic is the greatest basketball player on the earth, but he doesn't need to be the flashiest player. Because if you watch Nikola Jokic play basketball, it's enjoyable to watch. He's the best passer in basketball. He has the one of the most outrageous shot selections in the world. Like, so his shot quality isn't amazing, but he still makes every mid-range. Still manages to make above forty-five percent of his three-point shots. It's impressive. If you watch Nikola Jokic play, just because it's slow doesn't mean it's not exciting. It's impressive. And I feel like adults should, while watching a sport they love, draw closer towards it. And I think they need to take some notes, especially Adam Silver, take some notes upon other sports like football. Where if you're watching football or soccer for you American folk, if you're watching football, it's not built upon its superstars. A Champions League final between Chelsea and Atletico Madrid is still going to be a what's Champions League final. It might not be Real Madrid, it might not be Manchester United. I'm a Chelsea fan before people start saying, oh, Chelsea, you're still a big team. I'm a Chelsea fan. But we're not as big as Manchester United, for example. Manchester United haven't been good in years, but it's been fine. We haven't, like, the, the entire infrastructure of sport hasn't been unraveled. And I feel like we're heading towards an era now in the NBA where we have tons of superstars. We have... Ja Morant, we have Jason Tatum, we have Luka Doncic, we have Devin Booker, we have Giannis Antetokounmpo, we have uh, Nikola Jokic, we have so many different players that could be classified as superstars. Whereas before, in the 80s, the only thing we seem to understand is in the 80s, obviously it was the Magic and Bird era and nobody cared about anybody else. In the beginning of Michael Jordan's career, it was the Magic, Bird and MJ and nobody cared about anybody else. And then later on, we started to see more and more talented players like Charles Barkley, like Karl Malone, like uh, Shaquille O'Neal, Allen Iverson come in, Kobe Bryant come in. But even so, none of them touched. There was only like three superstars at any given time. Where now we have maybe three proper main marketed superstars in LeBron James, Stephen Curry and maybe Giannis Antetokounmpo. Where I think... The way we're headed, Jason Tatum is about to be seen on that level. Jason Tatum is incredibly marketable. John Morant, maybe not. I was about to say John Morant. But still, he's going to be marketed like that. A, a lot across his career. Hopefully, he recovers back from his set setbacks. Devin Booker, incredibly marketable player. It sounds like I'm just saying light skins are incredibly marketable. But you see what I'm saying. Nikola Jokic could be, could be marketed through his basketball ability in the same way... Lionel Messi is marketed through his footballing ability. He's not marketed through his style and swagger. Lionel Messi is not a cool guy. He just isn't. Where players like Cristiano Ronaldo have that sense of style, have that charisma and power. And Lionel Messi is marketed through he is the best football player in the world. Nikola Jokic could be marketed through he is just the best basketball player in the world. And so I think no matter what people tune into these games, if there's no LeBron, no problem. If there's no Stephen Curry, no problem. 
people will tune in and as somebody coming from the United Kingdom, I've seen the sport of basketball rise consistently as time goes by. I've seen people that had no care about basketball now looking around going, oh, have you seen the controversy happening with John Morant? It's becoming more of a spectacle across the world with basketball. The TV numbers are going up consistently. So I feel like the more superstars we have, the likelier we are to have nas multiple ma nationally televised games at the same time. You can have a TNT game while also having a CBS game at the same time. Because these superstars are so marketable, it opens up revenue streams for the NBA and so opens up an expansion for the NBA. In a few years, we have the TV deals be renegotiated and I feel like the NBA has more of a leg to stand on, even though LeBron might not be in the league anymore, even though Stephen Curry might be aging Stephen Curry at this point. We're going to be at a point where the league can take its superstars and throw them in the face of these TV executives and say, look how many superstars we have. Look how many people are followed by millions and millions of people. And so I feel like this, if it's the Heat versus the Nuggets, it's going to be an amazing series. If it's the Celtics versus the Nuggets, it's going to be an amazing series. I hope, I hope, I will say, I hope it's the Celtics. I know people hate me for saying it, but I do hope it's the Celtics because I feel like the Celtics could prove more of a matchup difficulty for the uh, Denver Nuggets just because they can throw so many different combinations on defence at Nikola Jokic, switch it up on a different amount because with Nikola Jokic, if you show him the same thing, he'll just adjust where I feel like Joe Mazzula can throw so much different movement into the into their defensive scheme that it could prove to overwhelm the defence of the Denver Nuggets as they seemingly run the same defence most plays pretty much every single play but yeah uh i'm looking forward to watching the celtics versus the heat as i did see the nuggets destroy the lakers uh, the lakers did run away with it to begin with later on the Denver nuggets came back in we saw an amazing third quarter from nicole Jokic. truly truly mvp stuff there and then jamal murray uh with the stop on uh, lebron james to win the game for the Denver nuggets it was yeah was quite enjoyable towards the end of the game but i mean we don't really want to see sweeps in the conference finals do we so it's double edged swords we saw one good game and we saw a dominant team but on the other hand if i saw so a lot of close games i probably would have enjoyed it a little bit more but i mean i've been supporting the demo nuggets the entire way through and so yeah it was quite enjoyable for me to watch especially the closing stretch seeing the last bucket scored by Nikola Jokic seeing Jamal Murray seemingly miss a shot where he should have probably passed out instead of taking a tough shot against Dennis Schroeder and then seeing LeBron uh, go in and he probably should have kicked it to Anthony Davis as well but you know when you're the best player in the team one of the best players of all time I can't blame you for taking that shot but yeah the Denver Nuggets are through to the NBA Finals. Western Conference MVP Nikola Jokic. And if they face the Heat, I'll still enjoy it. But anyways, I think that's pretty much everything I wanted to ramble about. Just essentially the, the state of the NBA in terms of superstardom. And this idea that no one will watch an NBA Finals with the Denver Nuggets and the Miami Heat. Where they will. They will. People will come out and watch the NBA Finals because they, are you, do you not trust your sport that much where you have to rely upon LeBron James to sell a finals or Stephen Curry to sell a finals? It's really silly, to be honest. But anyways, uh, please like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you in a bit right after the Celtics hopefully beat the Miami Heat in a bit. Boom.